you came out in the daytime. <laughs> Come on, Rollo, let's get out of here. Yeah. Man. Oh, oh, listen, uh, I don't have a picture of myself. You think I'm gonna need one? Hey, man, I hope not, because I ain't got a picture of myself either. Mm. Well, Rollo, why don't you go down to the post office and take one of your pictures down on the wall? Let's go. Wait a minute. I ain't through talking yet. Listen, Rollo, I don't like the way you always get my son messed up in your crazy schemes anyway. Hey, Pops, this movie don't fall into that category. Hey, man, this movie's on the for real side, Jack. Hey, Rollo, you ain't got to explain nothing to him. Well, yes, I do. A joke is a joke. Why you always treat me like a criminal when I come over here, Mr. Saf? Because I want you to feel at home. <laughs> Jack, look here. Why don't you put the gun in your pants pocket? What if it went off accidentally? It could shoot my foot off. I'd never be able to dance again. <laughs> put the gun in your pocket, okay? I'll put it in here. I don't remember. <laughs> See there? That's a bad omen. That means something bad's gonna happen. Move out the way, Rollo. All that means is that you got a hole in your pocket. <laughs> and then we're a good set. Me with a hole in my pocket and you with a hole in your head. Then why don't you sew up the hole in your pocket? I will if you plug up the hole in your head. Hey, wait, hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. I got an idea. Hey, why don't we just stick it in here? Wait a minute, watch that. Hey, and no one will be the wiser. When the sweat is all buttoned up, yes, sir. Everything is everything. Gentlemen, presenting the three degrees, Fayette, Hello. Valerie, Hi. and Sheila. How you doing? These are the three degrees. You make my temperature go up 100 degrees. <laughs> Mr. Sanford, you're beautiful letting us stay with you. Thank you. Thank you, you. Thank you so much. We don't have any place to stay. Hey, 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 cut that out. Come on, get away from it. Yeah, his heart might attack him. But we can't. We just can't thank him enough. Yeah, but that's enough of that monkey business. Hey, Rollo, you shut up and let these girls thank me enough. <laughs> if I tell them to stop, they'll stop. Tell them who I am, girls. You are Rollo Lawson, the greatest manager ever to grace the planet. In whose hands we place our lives, our careers, and our fortune. We will never forsake his teachings for silver or gold, for well, he, he knows, knows what's what best, best for us. That's good. Come on, sit down, girls. <laughs> That's the first thing I taught them when they got off the plane. I got it, Jack. I got it. <laughs> yeah, I know you got it, but I wish they'd find a cue for it real soon. <laughs> Now I'm gonna sign sleeping quarters to each one of you. Then that's gonna be that. You hear me? Yes, sir. Look here, Rollo. Why are you talking to your girl like that? Who you think you are, Iceberg Slim? <laughs> hey, tell him who I am, girls. He is Rollo Lawson, the greatest manager ever to grace the planet in whose hands we place our lives, our careers, and our fortune. We will never forsake his teaching for silver or gold, for he knows what is best for us. <laughs> hey, hey, you probably win the boomerang event, too. Hey, what's shaking, Grady? Say, Pop, there's your hubcap, man. I want you to know it just missed me. Well, well, let me put it on the truck and try again. <laughs> no, man, don't do me no small favor. Say, why are you all dressed up like Fry Tuck? <laughs> Fred's Fred practicing for the Senior Olympics, Rollo. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Hey, well, that's out of sight, man. Hey, good luck. Hey, look here, maybe by New Year's Day, they'll let you play in the old bowl. <laughs> What happened, man? Everything's cool. I called up Aunt Esther, and she's on the way over here. Hey, Esther? Good. You call Aunt Esther? Now everybody in town gonna know about this. Was Aunt Esther a talker or something? Is she a talker? Her mouth's so big, you can put your head in it with your hat on. Pop, we need Aunt Esther. Now, she's the one with the habeas corpus. Yeah, she got a big one of them, too. I suppose you don't want Esther to get us out of here, huh? You just want to stay in here. Maybe, if they give me a sale with a decent toilet. <laughs> Dinner is served. This is dinner? 
There's a fried rag bologna sandwich on toast, hot, warm milk, touch your old pops. And I warm that up for you if you want me to. <laughs> no? Well, bon appetit, amigo. Bon appetit. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. What if I have a heart attack? It's gonna be, it's gonna be difficult to try to, to dial you with this off the right of You're not gonna have a heart attack. But what if I do have one and I can't reach you in time? We might well say goodbye now. Hey, Pop, you're gonna be fine, man. I told you a long time ago, let's get a dog. If, if we had a dog, I wouldn't be alone. Hey, man, I'm leaving, Pop, and that's all there is to it. Now, if you need me for anything, I'll be at Rollo's. Bye, Pop. Hey, hey, Pop, this is gonna be great, huh? Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. What do you mean, you guess so? What's wrong with you? Well, I keep thinking about how my old man looked when I split, you know? Oh, man, quit thinking about that. Most cats cut out when they're 16, and you gotta cut out sometime. How old are you? 31. <laughs> What you waiting on, Medicare? <laughs> come on, man, get your man off your old man and come on over and put it where it belongs, on the chicks. Right, on the chicks. Hey, now that we're roomies, we can do this stuff all the time, huh? Hey, yeah, this calls for a toast. Right. Here's to us and the girls, Angel and Della. And here's to me, a mellow fella. <laughs> mm -mm. Wow, once have a ride. Oh, yes. I'm a looking. Ooh. Mm. Right on. Come right on, on in here. <laughs> hey, hey, wow. come on in, girls. Beautiful. Hey, meet Lamont, my friend. This is Angel. This is Della. Pleasure's all mine, ladies. It's nice to know you. Uh, would you ladies like to step this way and we can sit down and get cozy? What am I supposed to do now? Well, you're supposed to go right through that door there and relax with your son and his friend, and we'll be right with you. Okay. Hey, listen. You, you, you want me to shave my beard off? I'll shave my beard off if you want me to. No, no, no. You're absolutely perfect just the way you are. I am, ain't I? <laughs> well, look who's here. Rock and tab. <laughs> Oh, no. What are you doing here? Did you follow us? You know, the man said that he could definitely use me. And that I was perfect. And you know, that director said I was delicious. <laughs> you know, I think that director is... <laughs> Say, Rollo, come here, man. What? Hey, what kind of movie can this be if they're gonna use him? Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe they're just gonna use it for the crowd scene. <laughs> uh, all right, gentlemen. Uh, Don, let's go. Yes, now, gentlemen, would you kindly undress down to your shorts? Oh, yeah, oh, sure. sure. <laughs> Did you say you're about to get undressed? Uh, maybe so, uh, just for our costumes, right, Jack? Oh, I'm sorry you haven't even seen the script yet. You see, it's basically skeletal. We do a lot of improvisations. Uh, why don't you take a look at the script yourself? Oh, yeah, that's different. It's different. <coughs> Nobody got no clothes on. Yeah, yeah. Now you're getting it. I ain't getting nothing but the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, come on, Rollo. Yeah. Why don't you guys tell this was gonna be a nudie? That's right. I ain't gonna be in no naked movie. I ain't no nudie. Oh, <laughs> you're already here. What do you got to lose? You're gonna lose about 19 of your teeth and you don't check. <laughs> 